Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you having trouble with the touch screen of your iPhone? Does it frequently freeze for no reason or doesn't respond to touch at all? In this video, I will show you how you can try to resolve this problem with quick and easy methods. Let's go. When your iPhone stops responding to touch, there are only two likely causes. Either it's a software or a hardware problem. The most common and straightforward troubleshooting technique to resolve any iPhone software glitches is to conduct a force restart. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. When force restarting your device doesn't work, the next thing you can do is to connect your iPhone to a computer and choose between updating or restoring it. Since restoring your iPhone will erase all your data, it is better to update it first to see if it will resolve the problem already. This is because there is a possibility that the touchscreen problem may just be caused by some outdated functions. If this is the case, updating the device should easily resolve the problem. To update your iPhone, plug it into your computer and make sure that you are using an original or an MFI certified cable to prevent any problems with the transfer of data. Then launch either iTunes or Finder on your computer. If you're on Windows or your Mac is running on Mac OS Mojave or earlier, you can use iTunes. But if you're on Mac OS Catalina or later, you can simply use the Finder app. After launching the app, click on your iPhone in the sidebar and make sure that you're on the General tab. Then click Check for Update. Since I already have the latest iOS version installed on my iPhone, it shows no available updates. But if your iTunes or Finder shows an available update, just follow the on-screen instructions to start the upgrade process. If your device has been updated successfully but the touch screen is still unresponsive, then you might want to resort to restoring your iPhone. Keep in mind that restoring your device also means deleting all your data. Now, click on the Restore iPhone button and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. The process may take a few minutes, so wait for a while until your iPhone restarts. Afterwards, check if your touchscreen is now working properly. Another alternative is to use a software to fix all your iPhone software issues. For this, I will recommend Tenorshare's Reboot. The best thing about the software is that you can restore your device and fix its firmware glitches without having to lose any data. You can find the download link in the tag at the top right corner or in the description below. However, please note that this software is not for free and some functionalities require a payment. Once you have it downloaded and installed on your computer, launch the software and plug in your iPhone. Click Start and choose Standard Repair. This option will not cause you any data loss and your iOS will be updated to the latest version as well. Then click on Download to download the needed firmware and let the program run as it processes the iOS repair. If none of the methods I suggested work, the issue may not be caused by a simple software glitch anymore. There is a significant chance that your iPhone has a hardware problem, particularly if it started acting up after being dropped or in any other instances that you think may have damaged your device. In that case, your only option will be to reach out to Apple support for expert assistance on the matter at hand. If you're using iPhone 11, Apple has dedicated a specific Apple support page wherein you can provide your device's serial number to see if it's included on the warranty program. As it turned out, Apple determined that iPhone 11 models manufactured between November 2019 and May 2020 had display module glitches that caused the device to be unresponsive to touch. To reach out to Apple support, click on the tag in the top right corner or check out the link in the description below. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.